Hello friends, so in this section we will see some conversion of the benzene substituted compound into their product. So this is the toluene and this toluene convert into trinitrobenzene TNB. So let us see the process. So if you give nitric acid concentrated nitric acid or you can say uh, fuming nitric acid in presence of S2SO4 so this will convert into product this is the toluene and you will get nitration in three places NO2, NO2 and NO2 ortho, para and meta means one this is the one this is the four and five one five one uh, one four and uh, so this is a two four and five this is the second carbon this is the fourth carbon and this is the sixth carbon two four six carbon so again two four six tied into toluene so again if you give alkaline KMnO4 solution so uh, this CS3 will convert into benzoic acid because this is the oxidizing agent so this will become NO2 this will convert into benzoic acid NO2 and this is the NO2 this is the 246 dinitro benzoic acid and again if you give soda lime so soda lime will do decarbo uh, decarboxylation reaction so this CO2 will be uh, comes out and it will be product uh, trinitro benzene T and B. So next is benzoic acid to aniline. So use SOCl2. So this OH will be removed. So you will get product uh, COCl benzoyl chloride. Again you give ammonia. So you will get here benja amide. So uh, this will be CO and Cl will be replaced by the amide. So minus SCl. This is the amide. So again if you give Br2 and KOH. This is the Hoffman uh, bromide degradation reaction. So the CO will be out and you will get directly aniline. Aniline to P nitro aniline. So we cannot do nitration immediately. You have to block the amine because this will give you two product that is the three product. This here ortho also meta also para. So we are only one para because this will be ortho meta and para three product we will get. So first we have to block the amine. So by blocking using CS3CO Cl. So this is uh, blocked. So it will get uh, like a NHCO CH3. So this is the aceta any light. Aceta any light. Again, if you do nitration, now you can do nitration concentrated in presence of sulfuric acid. Both are at 15 degrees centigrade. So in this case, you will get only para position so nitro will attack on the para position this is the NHCO NH2 and you will get this side NO2 so only this side now you will do water in presence of acid acidic hydrolysis then you will get this product para nitro aniline because this will be released as the uh, so NHCO NHCO CS3 so this is released CS3 CO COH so this become acetic acid and you will get aniline so this is the aniline to 135 tri bromo benzene. So do bromination. If you do bromination, so it will convert into this is the aniline. So this bromine will, will be placed at three position ortho and para position. You can see this is the 246 tri bromo aniline. Again, if you do uh, NaNO2 plus SCL at 0 to 5 degrees centigrade, this is the dilution reaction. So this will convert into digonium salt plus and minus this is the br this is the br and this is the br and after this one same use the acid h3po2 and with water so you will get product this one 135 tribromo benzene this is phenol to aspirin so what is aspirin aspirin is the acetyl derivative of salicyclic acid so first we have to make salicyclic acid how to make salicyclic acid so this is the phenol so phenol is first converted into uh, into this one into sodium phenoxide so we use here this one s2so4 concentrated s2so4 concentrated and followed by naoh so this will convert into sodium phenoxide then this sodium phenoxide is given CO2 
so at uh, 25 degree centigrade and 6 atmospheric pressure so this is a Colby reaction so in Colby reaction the sodium phenoxide is converted into a product that is called OH and COONA and if you give again dilute HCl so it will convert into your cellular cyclic OH and this is the COOH now this is a cellular cyclic acid so we have to convert into uh, aspirin so again if you give CS3COCl so what will happen so this will react with the H and you will get aspirin so aspirin formula is uh, this is the cellular cyclic acid COOH and here you will get O C O C O C S3. So this is the cellular cyclic formula aspirin. Cinamic acid. So first convert benzene into uh, by using CS3 Cl AlCl3. So this will convert into your toluene. Again, if you give Cr O2 Cl2 chromyl chloride, so this will convert into your benzene aldehyde. Now this benzene aldehyde will give, so it is reacted with the anhydride. So anhydride we have CS3 CO whole twice O in presence of sodium acetate. So at temperature is 180 degree centigrade. So this is converted into your cinamic acid. This is the cinamic acid. So next is benzene to resource node. How we can convert? So this benzene is given first. S2COSO4. This is the fuming sulfuric acid and heat it. So you will get uh, bisulfate at three places. So one is the ortho position, one is the para position. So this is sulfur is attached. Actually sulfur is attaching, not H. Sulfur. So HSO3, HSO3. So if you give aqueous sodium hydroxide, then this will be converted into, this is the SO3 Na and this will be your SO3 and A. Now if you give solid sodium hydroxide and fuse it, then sulfur dioxide will be released. So you give here solid sodium hydroxide. Fuse solid sodium hydroxide. So in this way you will get sodium phenoxide, ortho and para sodium phenoxide, ortho and para sodium phenoxide. Then if you give HCl, then this will be converted into OH and OH. So this is the resource node. Benzene to P nitro benzene. So first give benzene Br2 in in presence of ionizer catalyst in a dark condition. So you will get chloro, so bromobenzene. So and this bromobenzene again you give nitration. So HNO3 in H2SO4. So you will get two products. One is the ortho product, one is the para product. So one is the uh, ortho product. So you can see this is the NO2, this is the para, uh, uh, sorry, not this is. This is the para product and you will get one is the NO2 ortho product. So ortho bromo nitrobenzene and or para bromo nitrobenzene. So para is your nothing 62% and this will be your 38%. This is the minor product you can see and this is the major product. So this is the phenol to acetophenone. So first give it the zinc and distill and uh, it will do distillation. So in with the zinc dust, so this will convert into benzene. And if you do CS3COCl in presence of AlCl3, so you will get Friedel-Craft acetylation uh, reaction. So you will get directly this product acetophenone. So this is uh, four nitroaniline and we have to convert into 1, 2, 3, tribromo 
benzene so how to process so start with the acetic anhydride ch3co whole to so so this will convert into this will block this one nh we, without blocking we cannot process so we have to protect this ns2 because this is the ortho para directing groups so we will get no2 will be as it is this is the no2 and this will be your nh co ch3 now you can do bromination so if you do bromination with the help of br2 so you will get products three products see use here br2 not here so we will get product this is the no2 and we will get product br this side br this side this is the nh co cs3 now use thin plus scl so this will convert no2 into ns3 aniline so you will get this is the ns2 and this is the br and this is the br and this will be nh co cs3 now again if you use next is diodization diation so if you use diodiation and second is the reduction with alcohol reduction with alcohol so you will get product so this will be your out this will be br this will be your br and this will nh co cs3 now next step is again diodization ion no sorry not i said what hydrolysis on hydrolysis again you will get aniline so you will get product aniline so this will convert into aniline and uh, and this will be br and this is the br now you do again diodiation so if you diodiation the, this will convert into n2cl so right here directly this is the br this is the br and this will be your n2 cl and again if you use sand may reaction cu2 br2 in presence of hbr hydrogen bromide so you will get product tackling so this will be go out and you will get this product 1 2 3 tribromobenzene